Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to program your volume controls to use with your Torbox, Wacom Tablet, or Loop Deck Live, Loop Deck CT, or any other device that you can assign shortcut keys to it. Alright, let's get right to it. Okay, so here we have Torbox, the Loop Deck, and the Wacom. And let's start off with the Torbox. Okay, so I have a preset for Windows, and if I was to play music, I can use my mouse, control the volume, Torbox the loop deck or the Wacom tablet okay. the way I've assigned them is so I have a preset for windows and I've also made a tutorial on how to do this I'll go ahead and link them for these I chose the scroll tab to assign the to lower it, increase it and mute it Click here, go to your shortcut, enter the one you're going to use. But if I enter it, it'll just override the command. So before you assign them to this, go and download this program, 3RVX. Download it. Here it is. Since I already have it installed, I'm just showing you it's safe to install. Okay, once you install it, go ahead and open up the settings. And here you're, let's make sure this is always on. And the hotkeys, here they are, F7, F8, and F9. Okay, so before you assign these, go ahead and delete them. Because it's gonna override this and it's not gonna let you choose the shortcut. So if I'm gonna do F7 or F8, you know, now you could pick it close and then put all of them on whichever you wanted to control. Okay. Same for the loop deck. I think there is a preset where it lets you add the media controls and you're able to control the control, the sounds, the volume. But if you don't, you can always go ahead and add it yourself. Go to your windows, the lower custom, so you can customize these and not this. Go ahead and click on the plus, name it. you want it to decrease this you would have to um, click F7 save it F8 and save it or whichever order you want it but there is a preset I believe to give you controls of the, the volume for the loop deck and for the Wacom it's the same Go to your functions, go to all other, the touch ring, pick an empty, empty slot, go ahead and choose the keystroke, and same thing, F7 or F8, okay, okay, that's how you would add the volume to it, and since now we have all the shortcuts added to the devices. Now we can go ahead and add uh, the hotkeys now. So this would be F7 to decrease the volume. This would be F8 to increase and F9 to mute it. Apply, okay. So now if we play something else now, now we have control again okay make sure that if you choose 
these hotkeys they don't override anything else okay so let me give you an example right before I was recording this I had an issue with the recording so I came to realize okay the, the problem is that when I open up the recording settings one of the shortcut keys is to pause the recording which was F9 so each time when I was doing the, uh, this tutorial and I pressed F9 it paused the recording so that shortcut was overriding this this shortcut so some shortcuts will override other shortcuts depending on which program you're using so when I was doing the tutorial I pressed F9 to, to mute the volume and it actually paused the recording and so I, I, I noticed that so I went and disabled the shortcuts for the for the recording program which is this one I went and disabled it and now if I press F9 it's not gonna pause this this screen recording so just make sure that the shortcuts you choose here are not gonna are not gonna have a problem with other shortcuts okay so so that's how do you add uh, the volume the way you can also add the sound control panel it's let's say if you're constantly switching from headphones to the computer volume normally what I would do is go here and choose the right output sometimes they could take time so what I did was I assigned so if I click it opens up this and I'm able to quickly choose headphones set default and OK same thing with the loop with the tour box click this opens up the sound control panel and I'm able to switch to the output I need to and same for the loop deck so if I'm on chrome and I need to change the sound to something else just click that and the way I did that was okay I'm going to show you on the the loop deck first so I did that for chrome you would need to do it for each specific program that you for the loop deck so I chose chrome since when I'm on a chrome I need to constantly switch from headphones to speaker so I went on the custom and I added the sound panel and the way this is the shortcut to it the way you would do it is choose run and then browse go to your C drive windows system 32 and look for you're gonna need to look for this mmsys.cpl so when you get to the mm it should be here mmsys.cpl you'll see control panel or you could just type that here on the search and it'll take you right to it once you get to the click open and save okay so you're gonna be able to add that and if you need to add it to something else such as if you're in Photoshop and you want to open that just add it to Photoshop the way you add that to the tour box is okay I need it for Windows go to Windows choose a empty button that's available I chose this one the C2 same thing click on it go to open file go look for that file on Win C drive windows system 32 you can type it here SYS now oh, it's MM S and there it is okay click on it open okay and then click ok so now you have it there you should see that location okay make sure you choose the op the open file and the same thing for the Wacom okay I 
Added it to the walking tablet. Go to your functions, your express key. Make sure it's on all other programs. Choose one that's available. Go to application, open and run. And the same thing, browse and search for that location. And just save it, okay? And make sure you back them up. So in case you have issues later, you can always have them backed up and you don't have to redo all this. If you ever have to reinstall the drivers or anything, you just have them all backed up already. Okay, and that's how you would um, add these shortcuts to um, to these devices. Okay, so now you could edit and do anything you want and intuitively change your volume.